I love this stuff. I'm in love with the imagery, I have to admit. Uh, so what we've just seen really is a, a scalable, fast back-end technology that provides very rapid search and discovery capabilities. Uh, it allows us to support a whole variety of different sensors. It embodies uh, our modern services-oriented or SOA architecture. And it really allows us to provide and serve imagery essentially to any application anywhere in near real time. Uh, to take it uh, to the next step, I'd like to use the phrase of one of my favorite TV chefs, Emeril, and kick it up a notch, bam, and get into my favorite area of imagery, which is imagery exploitation. This is a phase where we take the raw data and turn it into useful, meaningful, actionable information. Again, operating in our uh, entire uh, enterprise-wide environment with the geodatabase, uh, working with the other stakeholders in this chain, which are principally imagery analysts, image scientists, and GIS specialists. And a key theme that you're going to see here is the thing that imagery contributes is that it really makes our GIS real time. I'd like to say that again. Imagery makes your GIS real time. This is dramatic, and this is different from the way that it used to be. Imagery covers the entire span of time from uh, tactical operational decisions, which could be basically near real time to provide information to a decision maker in the field, through weeks, months, or even years out to the more strategic application areas, and Jack touched on many of those this morning, having to do eventually with sustainability. Imagery bridges that entire time spectrum. Speed matters, and imagery is a key component that allows us to make better decisions over time. Uh, those of you that know Jack and know our company understand how critically important relationships are to everything that we do. And at the top of that list uh, of important relationships are those with our strategic partners. We're very pleased to have with us today one of those key strategic partners, uh, ITT Viz, the creators of Envy, and my good friend Richard Cook is here, the president of that company. We're going to illustrate this technology in the next phase of the demo. Uh, you all know that uh, Envy is synonymous with world-class uh, hyperspectral processing. But it also goes way beyond that into state-of-the-art feature extraction, uh, very precise uh, levels of accuracy. It's fully integrated into the geo database. And to me, probably most excitingly of all, it integrates the workflow. It unifies the workflow between the imagery and the GIs as part of the analysis. So again, one more time, I'd like to turn it over to Dan to take us for another drive. Live. Thanks, Lori. So recall that the image service that we now have in our map is a multi-spectral image service. This means we can extract other environmental variables right from the image and use it in our GIS. For example, this is a canopy cover layer that was derived using tools in Envy, written to the geodatabase, and we can now work with it in our GIS. It represents sort of a vegetation density over our area of interest, which could be an important indicator for potential fuel load over this particular scenario. Let's look at another example of how we can extract features from another kind of event service. Now, during this fire, NASA flew an experimental UAV in partnership with the US Forest Service to capture multispectral thermal imagery during the fire over the day and night. One of the images that you're looking at here is from that mission. You can clearly see where the fires are occurring in this thermal image. We can see it in the context of our GIS. However, until we get the features of the active fires out of the image and into the geodatabase, the image has of limited use. So ESRI and ITT have been partnering to integrate our technologies at both the data level and at the functional level. Let me show you an example by looking at Envy. With Envy, we have the same image service and their application. We can see the same rendering of that thermal image, and we can see the active fires. Envy provides a suite of tools that allow us to extract information from almost any image and we can take those features and write them to the geodatabase. So using algorithms in Envy, we can extract only the features in the image that we're interested in, in this case, the active fires. You can see this previewed in red here. So we can write these features to the geodatabase, and we can integrate them into our GIS. This is an example of how we're integrating our technologies at the data level. Let's extend this a little bit further. We can integrate our technologies at the functional level as well. With Model Builder, we can call those same Envy routines that we use to classify those active fires for that one scene, except we can batch it and automate it across all of the images for the entire collection set. 
This means we can extract the features from all the images, write them to the geodatabase, and we have them immediately available to us in our GIS. So once we have the features separated from the image, we can interact with them with other layers in our GIS or use other tools. For example, since this was collected over the duration of the fire, over day and night, we actually can extract how the fire was moving over time. We can take that information and animate how the fire has been progressing over the landscape. Another way that we could integrate these this features now that we have them extracted out of the imagery would be to summarize all of the fires over the entire course of that particular coverage and integrate them with other, other layers, such as ownership. We can generate other charts and other ways of describing what's the total acreage for all the fires by owner that's currently burning. So in this example, we tried to illustrate how imagery is bringing value to the GIS by integrating features into the geodatabase for use in other further analyses um, with our tools. Thank you, Lori. Right. Great. Thanks, Dan. So that pretty much consumes our 15-minute slot. So in brief summary, then, I think you can clearly see the very strong focus that we have on integrating imagery into the GIS. It spans the entire range from technology, data, and applications. As Jack said, it's not about us, and it's not about the technology, but it's really about you. What can we do to help you be more successful in all the important work that you're doing? We're hopeful that with some of these new tools that you've just seen, that we can help you take full advantage of your imagery uh, in a wide variety of applications, take advantage of this wealth of new uh, sensors that are being flown uh, on a very regular basis, integrating it with the GIS so that you can take full advantage of the context that GIS brings in a timely and authoritative way, and eventually helping you craft better solutions to the many diverse challenges that you face.